we're like we're a ska band. Ska band from way back. Jen Kim works in Oh, we didn't do the preliminary. Hey, how's it going? Is this your first time in Cuba? Yeah, it's everyone's first time in Cuba. Oh, no, not everyone's. Some of these people have been here before. It's not the band, though. Oh, right. Okay. All right, sorry. C continue. Is this your first time in Cuba? It is my first time in Cuba. Yeah. I do like the Cuban ladies, but I'm hoping to go scuba diving, oh. mostly. She said she hoped you brought your stuff, though. Do you think that means that, are you SOL? Uh, no, I have my dive card with me, so I'm, I'm prepared. On. My crew. I mean, they know what they're doing. We, uh, I read that email. I did not, however, read the email that said to bring long sleeve shirts. But it said it said that if we have to take a certain copter thing, then we have to have long sleeves. Oh, no. oh we didn't have to have pants on. The whole plane, besides us, had shorts. It's, it's very warm too. We're all sweating. My jeans are transparent now. That plane was okay not to wear shorts. Yeah. But here was the thing was, is it's, it could be any other plan. This is my friend Eric. We said we playing together. We got really nice and cuddly on the airplane. He ate my sandwich. I did not eat your sandwich. <laughs> I ate my own sandwich. <laughs> Number eight in what? Number eight in major league eating in the world. Number eight in the world. And look how skinny you are. Yeah, that's frustrating. That's metabolism, Just man. Six packs. When Amy called it, oh, no yeah. way. How old are you? 28. That's why. Just yeah. get ready. It's coming. I didn't know that the uh, steady diet of crystal burgers gave me a six pack. Yeah, it does. I'm going on that diet yeah. when I get home. All before, all after. There we go. That's what happened. Micah. Flash Gordon. Right there. These are, ma these are major league, major league eaters. That we have here, Major League. I can't wait for this. This is gonna be awesome. Well, whenever I first met you guys, you had the he had the Stay Hungry shirt on, and so I've had Twisted Sister in my head now for uh, for the whole the whole trip. Just sing, singing Stay Hungry, feel the fire. Evidently, Christopher Columbus landed here, Fisherman's Point, the 30th of April, 1494. We didn't land on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us, and it fucking hurt. It's beautiful though. Here comes the ferry right here. So bringing our uh, basically our van crossed paths with us. So we were on one ferry and passed our van. So that we got that going for us. A bunch of shells. Kids would be stoked. Starfish. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool. Oh, check it out. It's one of those beer bottle fishes. I heard if you get those at the right time of year, you can drink the shit out of them. They're delicious. Look me so we made it to our hotel. Man, this place is awesome. This is the view from the elevator shaft of Cuba. Check it out. We have a dinner plan for tonight, and then we're going to go to a bar and just kind of hang out and meet people and stuff. And, uh, we actually play tomorrow, which is Sunday, the day before Labor Day, and then um, Monday is going to be our free day. What's up, dude? Would you like to model your new radio Gitmo hoodie? Should, should, we, get, should we get the bay uh, behind me? Uh, I can't. Oh, that's good. I can't read it, though. Oh. Perfect. Eric sporting his new radio Gitmo hoodie. Pretty snazzy, if you ask me. I hope you're enjoying Cuba right along with us. This is great. We're getting treated so nicely. That's right. I just filmed the floor mat. That's right. It's the, well, you know, we want everybody to know that we're in Cuba. It's the pearl of the Antilles. I didn't, you know what? Until yesterday, I didn't know that until the uh, flight attendant on our awesome flight said so. We have recliners in the lobby. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I had, how did you figure out that that's what that was? I mean, I would have I just... Can I can tell from the... Smart. He knows how to lay his boy. Look, look at that. You can tell that that's like a... Recliner. Oh, and there's the brown handle. He knows how to lay his boy out. You don't even need a recliner. You no. can make a recliner out of a couch. Right here. I just need that. Did you have fun last night? Yes, I did. 
Can't you tell? Did you get drunk? I did. I got sauced. Yeah, me too. Now my head's burned. I was actually gonna. Head. I was actually gonna stop drinking, and then all of the sailors showed up or whatever. Yeah. And basically, we got into the whole. Navy versus Marines versus Army versus Air, Por- Air Force and sort of that whole that, <laughs> that whole hierarchy and stuff and it, it's it's really kind of funny it's um, it's a lot like college only they have guns <laughs> you know my dad could beat up your dad you better quit you're gonna get your ass kicked by an 18 year old karate man I don't want to get my ass kicked by an 18 year old karate man <laughs> I don't want you to but I just want you to know they're in most situations, if you're getting the crap kicked out of you, I would jump in. That would not be one of them. <laughs> if, the, if it was an 18. By the way, I'm carrying my phone with me. I don't have service, nor is there wireless Wi-Fi anywhere. So basically, um, it's a watch that you keep in your pocket. I ain't gonna lie to you, last night was a doozy. Woke up and didn't know what time it was because my clock said it was 6. Apparently it was 10 and it was time to go to brunch. But uh, it was dark in my room. I started getting the, all my shit together, and I was walking out. And in the kitchenette, I'm like, what the fuck's on the table here? And I pick up this bowl and spill soup all over my feet. Apparently, I made a bowl of soup and went and passed out and never ate it. <laughs> I remember getting to Chris's room, but I actually don't remember going to bed. That's not good, right? Uh, yeah, I'm kind of with you on that. I don't remember going to bed. I remember hanging out in Chris's room. I remember getting in my room and making the hot pocket I was and the eating hot pocket. the hot pocket. Oh, dude, you know what I ate last night? Millions of food. <laughs> I ate a lasagna and then uh, I made uh, Easy Mac, but instead of water, I used uh, salsa. Huh. Wow. It was delicious. I, and Derek made me nachos. And I had some of those nachos that Derek <laughs> yeah. made. If anybody's going to make you nachos, you want it to be Derek. Yeah. He's a good nacho maker. He's I, good nacho maker. I think we could all be in agreement that last night was a doozy. It was <laughs> indeed what we like to refer to as a doozy. Guess what I have at my house now? What? Nachos? You got a kiss. Oh. Um, no. A, a squirrel. No. No. <laughs> no. no. Uh, Give up? A miniature horse. No, one of those sandwich press makers oh. that, that makes the pocket. That's that's a good purchase. I, I made one with Sloppy Joe, you, and it was delicious. <laughs> Amy, say hi to the folks. Hello, folks. Wait, but keep, concentrate on driving, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's Amy. She's awesome. She has the responsibility of taking us places, which I would not want. Couldn't pay me right. enough to We're be here. Up. Uh, we went to the Gitmo Detainment Center and uh, got to go all around, and it was pretty weird. Um, and then after that, we went back to Chris's room, and Chris and I watched Ace of Cakes and then Cupcake Challenge and drank beer. Cupcake Challenge is pretty good. I'd never seen it before. It, it's pretty good, but it was weird sitting in the hotel room with Chris and just the two of us watching yeah. cupcakes. Watching cupcakes.